My family meet Brittany. She's someone who my family stalks, harasses, and eats his hate against Harry and Meghan. And she calls herself a William and Kimilton supporter, a role expert. My family. And my family, a while back, Brittany was in Dusseldorf, was flying to Dusseldorf to stalk and harass Harry Meghan. Around that time, you know, during the Eid Victor's Games, the palace had announced that William and Kim Milton were going to France to watch a rugby match. And you, and you would think that someone who supports William and Kim Milton, when asked to choose who he or she wants to see, who Brittany herself, who she would like to see, you would think she would want to go to France, hoping to get to see William and Kim Milton. That is what you would think. Instead, she chose to go to Dusseldorf. And my family, we all know why. Because Harry and Meghan were going there. And she wanted to go there to harass and stalk Harry and Meghan. Make money off of a hate campaign towards Harry and Meghan. Make money off of monetizing hate towards Meghan. That's how, basically, Brittany makes money. And my family, if you can see the content that she chooses to focus on, my family, regularly, you see she mainly focuses on content about Harry and Meghan. And mostly, she's negative. Towards Harry, but especially towards Meghan. Time and time again. And my family, clearly, she's making so much money off of this hate campaign towards Harry and Meghan. Clearly, she's making so much money that she was able to pay for a flight to go to Dusseldorf, to go there. And try and stalk Harry and Meghan. But members of the Sussex Squad, upon learning that she was headed to Dusseldorf, contacted the police, my family, and told them that this person poses a threat to Harry and Meghan. And Brittany, because of the backlash she received, she was like, I'm going back home to the USA. I'm going back home. <laughs> I'm going back home. <laughs> this trip has become too toxic. <laughs> and my family, she headed back home. My family. She headed back home. And my family, first of all, let me say thank you to members of the squad who contacted German police and kept this stalker Away from Harry and Meghan. Let me say thank you. And my family, Brittany, is someone who also was pictured taking a selfie with Kay Milton. And my family, you have heard my thoughts, my opinions about how members of the royal family are regularly seen whining and dining with those who harass abuse Harry Meghan. I mean, King Charles. And I spoke about this, my family. When he was going to Kenya, clearly, you can see Rebecca English who writes columns for Daily Mail and regularly incites hate against Harry Meghan. She was on the same plane as Charles. My family, Chris Ship was there. Russell Myers also, another carnival of Sukkot Lespat, was there. I saw a picture of him boarding 
a flight, a Royal Air Force, you know, flight my family that carried Charles to Kenya and out of Kenya. I saw his face. These people are on record even targeting Harry and Meghan's son. However, they are permitted to wine, to dine, and to fly with Charles and Camilla, Kate and William, wherever they go to. Brittany also takes a photo with Kate Moulton. It's always those who sadly, regularly, inside hate against Harry Meghan, who my family are seen next to senior members of the royal family. But yet, when Prince Harry tells William and Charles about their complicity in this constant attacks towards Harry and especially towards Meghan, William and Charles call Harry delusional. But yet, it's clear that Harry has always been telling the truth. Senior members of the royal family are actively complicit in this ongoing hate campaign targeting Meghan in particular and Prince Harry. Don't forget, Meghan is the target. It is her who normally they are after. It is her who normally they go after time and time again. It is Meghan who is their target. As they continue hoping to try and abuse Meghan out of Harry's life. My family, may they never ever succeed in abusing Meghan out of Harry's life. And my family, basically, I say this with so much sadness. There is so, so much evidence. You can see my family online in pictures of senior members of the royal family being actively complicit in this ongoing smear campaign against Meghan. There's so much evidence of it on my family. I mean, you don't have to be a smart person to see what is right in front of you. If you can simply use your own common sense, you can see exactly, indeed, senior members of the family from Charles to Kate, to Camilla and William are fully, fully behind these constant attacks towards Harry and Meghan. And you don't even need, need the byline Times exclusive to tell you that. You know, don't forget the byline Times exclusive told us that members of the royal family signed off on a press assault of Harry and Meghan. My family, we knew that even before they said it. We knew it. However, it's always so nice to see that a reputable, you know, media outlet like Byline Times, who does Tara investigations getting to the bottom of what, you know, has happened to Harry Meghan, of this targeted harassment and hate campaign towards Harry Meghan, you know, that clearly is fully approved by William, Charles, Kate and Camilla, against Meghan in particular. And my family, the only thing that Meghan ever did was just fall in love. That's what she did. She fell in love with my family and refused to be abused, insulted, and just keep her mouth shut and suffer in silence. Megan spoke up about her experiences and told the world what was happening to her. And abusers, as all of us know, they don't like they don't like it when their victims speak up. And they're the ones who try to spread so much propaganda. You know what? The victim is lying. The victim is not telling the truth. We have seen that happening to Harry Megan when they have chosen to speak up and speak out. My family. And I'm happy that Harry Megan spoke out because silence only empowers the abuser to keep on abusing.
Time and time again, we keep seeing members of the royal family whining and dining with people who abuse Harry and Meghan and even go after Harry and Meghan's children, Archie and Lilibet Diana. We keep seeing that happening. However, when Harry and Meghan speak about it, they're called liars. Yet my family is right there for everybody to see. How members of the royal family are constantly seen with people who regularly incite hate against Harry and Meghan. My family, I'll go right ahead tell you what Brittany said. My family, on her ex account formerly called Twitter, you know, she has blocked me because I was one of the people who called her out for a stalking of Harry and Meghan, you know. And call for members of the squad online who even stay in Germany to call the police on Brittany. And my family, she blocked me. However, members of the squad online have posted a comment from her, from her ex account formerly called Twitter. Whereby, here is what she said, my family. And I quote. And you can tell from what she said that what she's after. Is just making money off of Harry and Meghan, and she wants Harry and Meghan to offer themselves up, up to be exploited by her and the British media. That is what she wants, and she can't stand seeing Harry and Meghan living their best lives. She can't stand seeing that one bit, especially Meghan, because it's her who normally she targets, just like UK media. Just like the whole family, my family. Just like William, Charles, Kate, and Camilla, Target, Megan, in particular, my family. My family, here is what Brittany said. And I quote, Allow me to read you this. Does Megan do anything besides dance at concerts? <laughs> a woman of color going to a concert borders Brittany. Megan, a woman of color, going to a concert and dancing borders Brittany, my family. She can't stand seeing that despite, you know, the ongoing hate campaign towards Harry Megan, that they have time to go out and prioritize each other. That Megan is dancing at a Katy Perry concert. She just can't stand seeing that. My family, because my family, this hate campaign is meant to destroy what Harry Meghan have and also make Harry Meghan miserable. But yet my family, Harry Meghan are thriving and they are doing so well. And Brittany just can't stand seeing Meghan happy, seeing Meghan doing so well, seeing Meghan thriving. Brittany can't stand being able to see that. My family. Megan keep on dancing. Megan and Harry keep on being happy each and every single day of your lives. You know? And the haters keep on being mad because of seeing you, Megan, and Harry thriving. Keep thriving and keep being happy. No one can dictate to Megan or Harry what to do with their lives, my family. My family, here's what also Brittany said. That the problem that Harry and Meghan have is that they give the media nothing to report but this stuff. <laughs> Here's a thought. Don't report about Harry and Meghan. And my family also, Prince Harry also, was seen dancing at the concert, my family. Harry also was very much seen dancing at the Katy Perry concert. But my family, I mean, look at Prince Harry himself, my family. Look at Prince Harry himself. Harry also was put dancing and also taking videos at Katy Perry's concert. But Brittany seems to have a problem with seeing Megan in particular dancing. 
my family. Because she can't stand seeing Megan happy, thriving, and living her best life. She just can't stand seeing it, my family. And uh, my family, basically, this person wants Harry Megan to offer themselves up so that the media can have something to write about. You know, I remember that person who said a couple of months ago, I can't remember the name of my family, who said that Megan needs to drop everything she's doing. Once again, targeting Megan in particular. That Megan needs to drop everything she's doing and focus on healing or mending Harry's rift with William and Charles. My family. That's what I remember. And I remember even speaking about it at the time. I can't remember who actually said that my family, but my family, I remember speaking about it. It's how this people feel like Megan or Harry should also be the only ones who my family are trying to do everything in their power to be the ones to fix a rift that they themselves did not cause. That UK Media caused. That Megan should drop everything she's doing to fix what UK tablets have destroyed. And also, as UK Media continue to try to abuse her out of Harry's life. My friend, because they want Harry back in Britain. They want Harry back inside the raw fold. But not because they miss or love Harry, but because they can't start seeing Harry thriving outside of the toxic institution. And because throughout history, the spear is destroyed. They can't stand it. That Prince Harry is invited by people to do a stand-up act. For example, like what I talked about yesterday for, you know, Stand Up for Heroes, you know, benefit event. They can't stand that Harry is still receiving phone calls by people who are so much fully influential to come over and speak about veterans' welfare. It's a sign that this new campaign has been a complete and utter failure. And they want Harry back alone to fully, to fully destroy the spear, to finish the job of destroying the spear's reputation. My family, the farm, and UK media won't ever succeed. This time, for the first time in history, the spear will not and shall not be destroyed. My family, some individuals just want to see, you know, Megan drop everything she's doing to focus on giving them content, on raw stories, on drama. That's so they can make money at the expense of Harry and Megan's mental health. At the expense of Harry and Megan's peace of mind. That Harry and Megan should offer themselves up to be exploited by individuals like Brittany, by the UK tablet press. My family, Harry and Meghan, don't offer yourselves up to be exploited by the toxic and racist UK tablet press. Keep living your best lives. Go out on concerts. Let the haters get even more and more irritated at seeing Meghan and Harry thriving. I see Megan and Harry doing well because clearly it bothers them that when they want Harry and Megan to be miserable, Harry and Megan are going out and about on concerts and having a good time together as a couple, as a family. It ruins all these narratives they're trying to sell. Oh, Harry's unhappy. Harry's so desperate to come back to the UK. My family. Harry loves his country, yes. Harry loves the UK, yes. But what he'll never ever love are the trolls, are the UK media. And my family, he said that himself in the Harry and Meghan documentary. But time and time again, we see trolls, UK media being like, you know what? Prince Harry should come over and try and mend this rift with Charles and William. In my family, you never hear them saying that Charles and William should take steps to heal the rift with Harry and Meghan. 
you know you never hear that my family i mean look at what happened just you know is it yesterday my family or two days ago whereby the raw family were basically you know leaking to the press saying that you know what we have invited harry to king charles birthday but harry has said he ain't coming harry has snubbed the event and all media outlets covered what the royal family was briefing them while charles and william were briefing them which also confirmed that indeed the palace is still actively briefing lies about harry and meghan to the press to the media to the toxic uk media and then harry and meghan through their spokesperson harry responded harry responded and said it's false the story has been misreported harry has not received any invite from charles to attend his birthday harry corrected their lie my family harry corrected their lies showing that my father first of all charles and his team are liars and also that clearly charles and william have never taken steps to try themselves to heal or mend the rift and as i have always said if charles and william don't want to heal the rift don't want to say sorry to megan for the pain they've caused her if that is the case then why does anyone even say or call or demand that megan drops everything she's doing to try and fix harry's rift with charles and william no megan you live your life harry you live your life you can correct lies being told about you but also harry you've done what you've had to do you've told the truth about what happened to you and megan and also you reached out and the other side clearly isn't interested in mending the rift with either harry and especially not megan and since that is the case then harry and megan also should not bother themselves trying to heal the rift with those who are toxic to their mental health my family you know and harry and megan are not going to offer themselves up and they said this years ago they won't offer themselves up to be used as a currency for an economy of clickbait and distortion but still you are hearing Brittany saying that the problem here is harry and megan you know what they have is that they give the media nothing to report but this stuff you know my family once upon a time in my country i had someone you know say this you know well like a politician he said that the media needs to be fed you have to throw the media you know a bone so that they can chew on that bone they want basically it means that you know the media must be fed okay they want to be fed and my family some people like Brittany and also UK media also want Harry and Meghan to offer themselves up so that they can exploit Harry and Meghan. They want Harry and Meghan to show their kids Archie and Lilibet so that also they can be able to exploit Harry and Meghan's kids. My family, no. No, 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 no. Harry and Meghan will live their lives and also protect their kids my family and won't offer themselves up to be used by the media for them for the media to make so much money off of harry and megan harry and megan refuse to offer themselves up that's why you see uk media creating stories about harry and megan that's why you see them interviewing people who have never even met either harry or megan to say negative comments about megan 
They don't report the news. They create the news. That's how normally they behave. And because they have nothing, what they are left with is creating the news about Harry Meghan. You know, and basically, regularly, you know, going after Meghan, sadly. Time and time again. We have seen Jeremy Clarkson, Lady Glenn Corner, one other guy a couple of days ago, my family also, and they normally target Megan in particular. My family, as they continue to hope to, you know, somehow abuse Megan out of Harry's life, my family, I pray that they never ever succeed. My family, Brittany, also said this that somehow Harry and Megan's accomplishments are minimal. That this is what gets traction. My family, some people want to set a bar for what Harry and Meghan should be able to achieve. And only this will they view, you know, okay, now this is a success. My family, you have to live your own life. Because to you, you may think that Harry and Meghan have failed, but to Harry and Meghan, where they are right now is a place where they view themselves as that they have excelled in life. Prince Harry has an amazing mansion in Montecito. Prince Harry is able to pay for his and Meghan's security. When years ago, after he had been cut off by Charles, he says in his almost pair of how he and Megan were sitting down, counting the numbers of how much they could afford, of what they could afford, in a half a house and also for security. But now they have a home. Now they have good security. Now they've made millions and millions of dollars. But yet someone is like, you know what? Your achievements are so, so minimal. <laughs> to you, it may be minimal. But to Harry and Meghan, from where they've come from and to what they've achieved now, my family, their achievements are not minimal. They are huge. They are huge. And they've achieved what they've achieved with a smear campaign ongoing against them by the media. They've achieved what they've achieved despite the fact that UK media are targeting each and every single income sources of Harry and Meghan. So my family, Harry and Meghan have accomplished much. You know? And Brittany says that if Harry and Meghan concentrated on career or over obvious attention-seeking activities, that they might be bankable. My family, going to a concert is an attention-seeking activity? Going to a concert is an attention-seeking activity? I think it's to enjoy yourself, to have fun, you know, to enjoy your time with your husband, you know, to sit down and just dance, have a good time as parents, as husband and wife, with your friends. Somehow that is attention seeking. Last time I checked, Harry and Meghan weren't begging for the attention of the media nor of Brittany. Harry said in the Harry and Meghan documentary, I won't miss UK media and their trolls. He said that himself, but yet trolls like Brittany are like, you know, Harry and Meghan, you know, going to a concert is attention seeking. Harry and Meghan don't want your attention, Brittany. They don't want your attention. They don't want it. Focus on William and Kim Houghton and leave Harry and Meghan alone. You know? My family. And then Brittany asked that, why would you hire Meghan? Once again, she targets Meghan. When she'd rather dance at a concert than produce a series or a podcast. Answer, you wouldn't. You can play hard when you work hard. What basically she's asking for is for Meghan to provide content, material for Brittany to speak about, for Brittany to exploit. My family it is not just Brittany. 
asking for this. It's also the UK tablet press. My family, it's also the UK tablet press who are asking and demanding content from Meghan and Harry. That way, they are able to have something to talk about. Once again, they want Harry and Meghan to give them material so that they can make money. And they are angry because right now they have nothing. They are angry because right now they have nothing. That is why they are so, so angry, my family. And you know what? My family, no one is going to tell Megan what to do with her life. My family, what she should do with her life, my family, her life. No one is going to tell Megan what she should do with her life. Megan will do what Megan wants to do. And my family, Megan, will excel at every endeavor that she undertakes. That is what a family believe. Whatever endeavor Megan undertakes, she will excel. She will prosper. My family and the haters will keep gnashing their teeth as they see Harry and Megan keep on thriving and keep on living their best lives, keep on going to more and more concerts, having fun together as a couple. My family, it's high time that these haters understand that Megan is not returning to abuse. And it's high time that they let go, my family. My family, in response to what Brittany has said, different members of the squad had some comments to make my family. Someone said that, Sai, Kane Milton does not work. Kane Milton does not dance. Prince William does not work. Prince William allegedly doesn't even do, you know, fidelity to his wife. Why can't William and Kim Milton just focus on the ceremonial and ribbon cutting? Why can't they focus on the ceremonial and ribbon cutting royals back in the UK, William and Kim Milton? Why can't Brittany focus on them? Because my family, she had a choice. To go and see William McKibbleton, see William McKibbleton in France, or see Harry Meghan in Dusseldorf. And she chose to try and go and stalk Harry Meghan in Dusseldorf instead of going to see William McKibbleton. It tells you exactly where she sees, you know, where you know where she gets her money from. That she tried to go and stalk Harry Meghan. Brittany, you won't ever come close anywhere to Harry Meghan. You won't. You won't. And you can't dictate to Meghan or Harry how they should conduct their business, how they should earn a living, you know, whether or not they should go on concerts. It's high time individuals understand that, you know what, Harry and Meghan are free. Harry and Meghan are free. And they can't dictate to them what they should do or what they should not do. Harry and Meghan are free. To do what they want. You know. Harry and Meghan are free. My family. Someone else said that you know. Why is it any of her. Or anyone else. Or anyone else's business. What Harry and Meghan are doing my family. Clearly. is because. Whenever Harry and Meghan you know. Are doing something. It's how she can be able to make money. You know. By clearly. Spreading negativity about Harry Megan, and she needs Harry Megan to come out and perform for her, so that she can make money. My family, it's high time they focus on William and Kimuta and leave Harry and Megan alone. My family, my family. Someone else said that, you know, it's high time. That Brittany leaves Harry and Meghan alone. What is the problem? You know? Someone else in my family. Her problem is that she can't stand seeing Harry and Meghan thriving and living their best life in my family. She just can't stand seeing them in my family. She just can't stand seeing that even one bit of my family. My family. Someone else said that, you know, instead of Brittany focusing on William's art flow, 
she's crying about Harry Megan's, you know, not being the stucker show like she hoped it was going to be my family. So she can make money. She can't stand see Harry Megan going on concerts and living their best lives. My family, Harry Megan are giving them nothing and they just can't stand seeing it, my family. You know, no wonder really we have seen how carnival of so-called experts have been losing their jobs ever since Harry Megan fled Britain. <laughs> my family, they just away the goose that laid the golden eggs and it's high time they learn to live with that. My family, Samuel Paul Jerome, said that Brittany is upset that Megan is living her best life happily going out and dancing. They want to think of her at home sad, distraught, depressed. I swear, just ignore Megan, if you don't like Megan. She doesn't owe you haters anything. Get your content material from that family, from William, from Charles, from Kate and Camilla, paid for by the taxpayer and leave Harry Meghan alone. Leave Harry Meghan alone. They paid nothing to fund Harry Meghan. But still, my family, they feel some kind of, you know, that they have some kind of authority over what Harry Meghan do with their lives, my family. They don't. They don't. Harry and Meghan are free to do what they want, when they want, and no one can dictate to Harry and Meghan what they should do or what they should not do. Harry and Meghan, you are loved. Keep thriving and keep living your best life, my family. Keep living your best lives, Harry and Meghan. And no one can tell Harry and Meghan how to live their lives, my family. Now, tell me just about Brittany. Her comments about, you know, Harry and Meghan. I want to hear the opinion family. And also that Brittany have been photographed next to Kim Milton of how people who regularly attack Harry Meghan are normally seen whining and dining with senior members of the royal family. But yet, when Harry and Meghan say or speak of the royal family's complicity in the attacks and smear complete towards Harry and Meghan, they're called liars. When clearly they're telling the truth. I want to hear your opinion on that, my family, as well. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Mibedana, and Doria Ragland. And all of you members of Square at Home, he never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you all forever. May God bless Harry, Megan, and whatever thing, you know, they achieve, whatever milestone they're able to accomplish, my family, they're able to accomplish, Harry Megan, we will all support you. And no one can ever dictate to Harry and Megan what they should do or what they should not do with their lives. Only Harry and Megan are free to decide what to do with their lives. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you all and forever. To Harry and Megan, keep thriving, keep living your best lives, keep going to more and more concerts, have fun, enjoy yourselves. Prioritize each other and your kids. Have fun and enjoy yourselves. And always know just how much you are loved. My family, stay tuned to our next video. And may God bless you all, my family. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.